Hello everybody, my name is Sabrina Isaac Bear from Mary Science Lab. Today we'll be doing another mathematics problem. Alright, let's get to the board. So what are we doing today? There are two rectangles. One of them is just to the side of the other. So now, A, B, C, D, E. Oh wait, I'm getting my alphabet switched up and mixed up. Okay, so gaff A, gaff A, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm getting, uh, there's no H. So anyway, what do we know? Well, we're trying to find, first of all, the perimeter of A, B, C, D. And to do that, we'll have to find what the length of A, B is and the length of B, C is. So now, how do we find those? Well, we're given two things. Number one, G, A is eight. Number two, DE is 12, but that's about it. But wait, there's one more thing. GAFE is actually similar to ABCD. The only thing is that GAFE is just ABCD, but with the following two transformations. It was rotated by 90 degrees and it was dilated by a factor of two thirds, meaning it got smaller. So now that means that we that means that all of the sides in A B C D were multiplied by two thirds in order to create the dimensions of G A F E. So how do we reverse that multiplication? Well, obviously by multiplying the inverse, which would be three halves. So in order to find all of our corresponding sides, we first have to multiply our original sides by three halves. So first, let's unrotate G A F E. Just erase this first thing because that transformation is a nuisance just made to disorient you. In reality, you have Z, A, and E, an F, gaff A, uh, is it that, yeah, that's it. So, mm, now, let's see, we have G A, eight, and we have D E, so D is a midpoint of A E, well, not really a midpoint, we'll find out what it is, it's not given. So, D E is 12, and now, that's all we've got. However, G, you may notice that G A, since G A F E similar to A B C D, that means that G A and A D are corresponding sides. Meaning we have to multiply it by three over two in order to get A D. Another way of explaining it is we essentially have to reverse the transformations that have already happened. So we need to rotate it back negative 90 degrees, which we've already done, and we need to dilate it by the inverse of two thirds, th or three halves. So now, that means that since G A is eight, multiplying it by three halves will give us 12 for A D. Now, we, the thing is, since A D is 12, that means that A E is 24. And since AE and DC are corresponding sides, the, oh, well, then we get 24 over here. Now, since AD, AD and BC, uh, since ABCD is a rectangle, AD and BC must be the same, and DC and AB must be the same. So AB and BC, we've already got them. So 2 times 24, plus two times 12, total of 72. Wow. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.